Welcome to The Basement, everybody. I'm your host, 90s Basement Kid. Today, I'm gonna to discuss my favorite movie from 2018, and that is Annihilation. Now, Annihilation was not nominated for any Academy Awards, as is pretty much every movie that I pick for my favorite of the year. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I mean, I'm gonna talk about the Academy Awards a little later on anyways, but you shouldn't take them seriously. Annihilation stars Natalie Portman and deals with her trying to save her husband's life while navigating through a mysterious new world. Now this movie is, you know, I'm not gonna explain the plot because quite frankly, it's almost unexplainable. This is the type of movie that people just, somebody needs to see as an individual and decide what it means to them for themselves. Now there's a lot of great action, there's a lot of fighting, and there's a lot of stuff that, you know, casual moviegoers would enjoy, but I definitely think it's worth watching for not just a casual moviegoer, but for anyone really, because you know this type of intellectual cinema is something that you really don't see a lot of anymore, which I think is very unfortunate. It seems very much like this type of filmmaking has been set to the wayside for things like booms and explosions and all that stuff. Not to say that films like that can't be good and don't have their place, but you know something like Annihilation is not like your average movie. It is very much offers more than your casual movie-going experience. It makes you think. It makes you think about what is taking place, what do these events mean, and how do they affect the story, and how do they affect how you view the story. And I think this is the type of stuff that more movies need. You know, it's very easy just to have people just blowing stuff up, shooting guns, you know, all that sort of stuff. And this movie has some of that as well. But there are things about this movie, visually it is striking. The score is outstanding, the special effects are top notch, and quite frankly, this is probably the best sci-fi movie I've seen since Alex Garland's last movie, Ex Machina. Oscar Isaac is fantastic in the film. Gino Rodriguez is fantastic. The entire cast does an outstanding job of bringing the story to life. It is based on a book that I've never read. I'd be curious to check it out, especially after seeing the movie. But I highly recommend everybody who likes movies check out Annihilation because I think it is that good of a film. This weekend marks the return of the Academy Awards. Now, if you've been living under a rock, uh, you may not know that the Academy Awards this year have shaped up to be quite the shit show. They have no host. Many awards that have been previously broadcasted are being foregone for the sake of time. It's almost like they need a good editor, which is ironically one of the things being cut. I've had a very love-hate relationship with the Academy Awards for a long time. Most of you may not notice about me, but I'm a film student, a film graduate rather, which is why I'm living in a basement. But regardless of that, you know, I've learned what it means to not, you know, just physically productionalize make a film, but what the elements of story making are that makes film great. And when you do things like not show the recognition for very crucial elements of production and what's supposed to be the recognition of making a film, it's just not a good look. It seems more and more like the show has become more of a fucking stroke fest than an actual recognition of talent. Imagine you. You're hardworking your entire life. You know, you've went to film school, maybe you didn't, but you've worked hard on productions your entire life. You worked your way up. You've been working on sets your entire life. You've been busting your ass trying to make your way to the top. And finally, you make it. Your, your hard work is finally recognized and your achievements are given. It's your chance to say a speech, to tell the world how you feel, to recognize how grateful you are for the chance you've been given. And what happens? They don't even show you broadcast so they can parade around a couple from Jacksonville like they're a zoo in front of a bunch of celebrities, man. Because that's what the problem with the Oscars. It's very much become less about the talent and more about the stroke fest. The, oh, look at us, we're so great, we are a celebrity. You know, whereas, you know, before, you know, you recognize people that actually made these people look great. You know, it's not just the acting, it's not just the costumes. What is the costumes, actually? That's the, exactly the problem. It's not just the acting, it's the costumes, it's the makeup. It's the cinematography, it's the editing, it's the set design, it's everything that goes into a film. You know, if you just put Scarlett Johansson in any movie, it's not gonna be good, it's just gonna be Scarlett Johansson standing in front of a cardboard box. But when you add the set design, when you add the good wig, when you add the good makeup, that's when a character comes to life and can be something that people relate to. And very much it's been the case that these are not the things that are cherished in these award ceremonies. So what am I telling everybody to do? Don't watch the Oscars. Just let this thing play out, have it die its slow and painful death that it deserves to die. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't do the Oscars. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying if you're not going to recognize the people that make it possible, 
You might as well not even show it. You might as well just have your award ceremony and then show everybody <laughs> fucking each other after their fucking holiday orgy because quite frankly, that's gonna be more entertaining than anything you're gonna see in the Oscars this year. Well, this has been 90 Space Me Kid. Hit like and subscribe at the bottom and let me know which movies you wanna see me do next. Peace.